Hi friends, Mrs. Day here with our small group activity. Our small group activity today is called Patterns. For this activity, you will need your pipe cleaner with your beads. So go into your supply bag, get out your pipe cleaner and all of your beads. Now it's time for us to get started. Here we go. All right, kiddos, you should have your pipe cleaner along with 10 beads. You're going to notice that five of them are one color and five of them are another color. So my beads are blue and green. I have five blue beads, five green beads. The first thing I'd like you to do very carefully, take your beads off of your pipe cleaner. Uh-oh. Watch out for the rolly ones. We don't want them to fall on the floor where our little brother and sister or our pets could get a hold of them. Remember, these are for school, not for they're not for eating. All right, the first thing I want you to do is to create your own pattern. So use your beads and make up any pattern you want to make. Maybe your pattern will look something like this. A green bead, a blue bead, a green bead, a blue bead, green, blue, green, blue. Parents, this is called an AB pattern because we go back and forth, A, B, A, B, A, B, all the way down the row. If you'd like, you can make it a little bit more challenging and do a pattern like this. This is called an AABB pattern. Blue, blue, yellow, yellow, blue, blue, yellow, yellow. The kids, after they build their patterns, they can practice going back and saying the name of their pattern, just like I did. Blue, blue, yellow, yellow, blue, blue, yellow, yellow. If they've mastered this pattern, you can make it even a little bit more difficult and try something like this. AAB. So orange, orange, green, orange, orange, green, orange, orange, green. It's an A, A, B pattern. After your children have been able to accomplish their patterns, see if they can do something called extending a pattern. Now extending a pattern looks like this. You start the pattern and let them continue the pattern red, blue. What comes next? Red, blue. Red, blue. All the way down the row. Or you can make it an even more difficult extended pattern. Red, red, yellow. What comes next? Red, red, yellow. Red, red, yellow. Let the children finish or extend the pattern that you have started for them. Now you can do these patterns a few different ways. So you can have the children build their pattern right here on the table, or you can have them include the pipe cleaner. By threading the beads onto the pipe cleaner, not only are you saving the beads from rolling away on the floor, but now you're adding the fine motor component component. The children are using their fine motor muscles in their fingers to thread the beads onto the pipe cleaner. So if you'd like to add another component to our activity, have them thread their beads onto the pipe cleaner. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed today's activity. Bye-bye.